What's up y'all, this is your man Jay. I'm here with my first Japanese pickup video, even though it's not my first pickup in Japan. Now I mentioned at some point last year that I was moving to Japan. I've been here since January 2017. It is now April 23rd, 4th, something like that. I don't even remember what day it is anymore. Anyway, I'm out here because of work and there are two shops that I've come across that I hit up fairly regularly. There's one that I, I usually hit on the way home from work, assuming that I get to go home from work that day. Uh, and then there's one I hit on the weekends. So Hard Off is the one that I hit on the weekends. Every Saturday I'm up there checking to see what kind of good stuff they have. The other one is Book Off. Book Off is really good for games, cheap games. Hard Off is good for systems and accessories. So I'm going to show you the stuff that I got from Book Off today. And yeah. I don't know if that's exciting to anybody but me, probably not, but this is what I got. So the first thing I got is this silver Game Boy player for the GameCube. This was $1. See the price tag there, may or may not show up on the video, I don't know. Uh, it's 100 yen and the current dollar to uh, yen ratio is, I believe it's 109 yen to 1 US dollar, so that's less than a dollar. I'm saying who, who's gonna pass that up and I think my memory serves me right the only color that came out in the US was the black one um, this is actually my second silver one so I, I kind of figured that somebody might want to trade for that when I get back to the States in fact a lot of the stuff that I picked up is obviously stuff that I don't need because if you watch any of my videos which I don't know why any of you would because they're horrible no, don't say that. Um, so a lot of the stuff that I pick up out here these days outside of games uh, is using like accessories and consoles and stuff. I have a lot of it already, but it's so cheap I cannot pass it up. Um, it's gonna be for trade or possibly sale when I get back to the States in a couple years. So that will be one of the things going in that uh, sale slash trade pile. The second thing is I got this uh, Sega Saturn fighting stick. This was 200 yen, which is like a dollar, I don't know, 88 or something like that. I haven't tested it yet, but uh, it seems a little wonky uh, going to the right. I'm sure it's probably something that's easy to fix. Uh, micro switches are not that difficult to, to repair. But uh, this is kind of nice to have. I have a Sega fighting stick, but I don't have this color. So, kind of nice. We'll see. Hopefully it works. I picked up a couple of uh, GameCube microphones only because I have a couple of Mario Party games that I have in my sale bin somewhere uh, that do not have microphones. Actually, I don't even think I own a microphone for myself. These were 100 yen, so I picked one up for myself and one for that extra copy of, I think it was Mario Party 6 or 5 or whatever. And I'll bundle it with that when I get around to trading and selling it, whatever. I also picked up uh, a GameCube AV Core for 216 yen. It's about $2. Nothing exciting there. Uh, I also grabbed a Dreamcast AV cord for the same price. Again, not very exciting. Uh, I got a Sega Stunner for the Sega Saturn. This was 300 yen. According to the price sticker, it's been at the store since 2015. Uh, it's definitely been there as long as I've been going there for the last what, three months or so. Uh, it's just sat there and at $3, I mean three-ish dollars. It's not a bad price at all, but I have so many of these, I don't need another one, but a friend of mine had expressed some interest in uh, obtaining an official Saturn Stunner, so that's for him, I guess, maybe when I get back to the States or maybe somebody else, um, but I don't know. it's for somebody. I also got myself a Super Famicom controller, and I get a lot of these. These are super, super cheap out here. This one was 200 yen. All right, maybe you can see that, maybe you can't. 200 yen. I don't know what the top price is. I don't know why it says 216. I don't know if that's like. Hmm. I don't know. Ooh. I don't know. The lens likes moving. Uh, anyway, I don't know what the top price is. I don't know if that's like the suggested retail price or what they think the normal retail price is or whatever. But it's the bottom price they go by is 200 yen. I think this is like my 10th Super Famicom controller and this one is actually in really pretty nice shape. It just needs cleaning. I don't know if it works. Um, the other ones that I've gotten that were in the so-called junk pile, they just needed to be taken apart and cleaned up and work fine. 
and uh, some of these other controllers again super super cheap um, Nintendo 64 controllers this one is actually in really good shape uh, no yellowing that I can see no scratches no no gases stick is really good this one was 300 yen same on these but the sticks aren't all that great I'll probably go ahead and replace those but even at that price I mean um, what a seven dollar stick that's ten dollars they actually had a couple that were in pretty good shape that were like uh, 850 yen something like that I don't even know why I didn't pick those up I should have but whatever um, an orange GameCube controller this one's got some stickers on it. it's got some dirt uh, these little nubs right here are pretty yellowed and filthy looking they'll probably have to be replaced but uh, other than that I mean that's not bad I, I know these uh, orange controllers go for like 20 bucks in the states and they're super super common out here and I, I got to show you guys at some point some of the other stuff that I've gotten I've gotten a boxed orange GameCube for 15 bucks um, uh, just all kinds of really good stuff I'm just not going to show in this particular video because I just don't have enough time and there's so much of it uh, especially the Super Famicom games and the uh, Sega Saturn games which I have some of them behind me anyway but keeping it moving I got two Sega Saturn uh, controllers this one is white and this one is like a translucent I don't know what color it is smoke black gray whatever the hell you want to call it uh, these were 800 yen I definitely wasn't going to pass these up I love Sega Saturn controllers but it's fetish and the last piece of hardware that I got today was this Nintendo 64 missing the jumper pack it's a little dusty and dirty in there um, no rust or anything I didn't see any sign of any bugs so that's a good thing I don't know how well it's gonna show up on the camera do a little tap and tap in there you know what I'm saying get this thing to focus a little bit it's not gonna want to focus but whatever it's a this was a hundred yen so less than a dollar I'm certainly not gonna be walking away from that I mean even if I could just use it for parts for a dollar I'll fucking take that any day now on to some of the games so nothing really all that exciting these were in the like the dollar bins which is mostly garbage usually all right so this is brave what the hell is this called brave spirits something or other some it's a wrestling game all right focus you. again like i said not all that exciting this one is yellow and kind of crappy condition but it's wrestling so mario golf for the n64 and a little danky kang 64 this is my second copy. I actually paid five, I think, either 500 or 250 yen. There we go. I don't know why I have to do that to get it focused. Anyway, um, so that's my second copy of Donkey Kong 64. I think I paid like either 250 or 500 yen for my other copy. Loose. Uh, then I picked up this other game in the box. I believe it's called Sandora No Daiboken. And I know I, I'm probably saying that like a white guy, but. Um, sounds like it's complete. I don't have a knife or anything to, to split this open without trying, you know, damaging it or whatever. So I'm gonna leave that as is. But it looks like a pretty cool game. I don't know how well that's gonna focus. I'll probably just throw some gameplay footage up here somewhere. Focus. All right, there we go. But the winner for today was definitely this box copy of Samurai Spirits for the Neo Geo AES, and it does have the manual inside which was a huge huge bonus for me I don't know is that focusing anyway anyway that was a huge huge bonus for me and the fact that I found any Neo Geo game for twenty dollars is pretty amazing this is only my second AES game I don't have any American versions I have Fatal Fury 2 which I picked up for like 40 bucks plus like 15 shipping or 10 shipping or something like that on eBay a while back so it was kind of cool to find one for 20 even though I'm not a huge Samurai Spirit slash Samurai Showdown fan. Any Neo Geo AES game for 20 bucks is nice. A lot of stuff that I get out here is pretty mundane. A lot of controllers, a lot of cords and, and peripherals and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, a lot of consoles um, that uh, some of them are pretty cool, some aren't. Um, I think I have like eight Super Famicoms and three of them in the box and got them all for like between a dollar and twenty nine dollars. So a lot of the stuff that I get out here, uh, some of it is pretty mundane and, and it's honestly just going to be for trading way, way down the line when I get back to the States. I love selling at conventions, fun as hell. You know, if I can get stuff cheap here and sell it cheap, it's, it's a win-win for everybody. Um, as far as games are concerned, 
I've gotten tons and tons of Super Famicom games. Um, I've gotten some really, really good Sega Saturn games, at least in my opinion. I love fighting games. I happen to pick up a ton of the, uh, the Capcom fighters since I've been out here and super, super cheap, which has been amazing. Everything out here is super cheap. If anybody knows what an actual PSX is, not PlayStation 1, but a PSX, the uh, DVR player, we've gotten two of those. Uh, one was like 90 bucks, I think. Something like that, and then the other one was like 120. They're different uh, hard drive sizes, but uh, I've gotten cool stuff like that out here. I've gotten a couple of uh, Neo Geo CDs, super cheap, um, and I'll show you guys that stuff another time. But I want to do this quick ass video, just kind of catch up, uh, update the channel. I don't think anybody actually watches this anymore except for a handful of people. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on. I work a lot these days. I work like 14 hour days and only come home maybe like four days a week. So as far as playing anything, it doesn't happen. As far as doing videos, probably gonna happen very, very sporadically. This is what life is right now. But uh, I appreciate anybody who is actually watching. Um, and I will try to do a couple more update videos and show you guys some of the cool games that I got. So if you're into import stuff and Japanese stuff, this is gonna be a channel for you for a couple years assuming that I get time to actually upload anything um, but yeah I'm having a good time collecting it's cheap out here there's no competition it's not cutthroat and, and retarded like it is in the States which I absolutely love it's really helped me fall in love with collecting again because there's not so much uh, it, it's not so financially driven like it is in the States everybody is out for rare games and everybody's out to outdo each other and, and see how much money they can get for whatever it is that they buy and it's really kind of annoying when it's more just kind of for fun and to help each other out help other collectors out that's the way it should be in my opinion but you know it's whatever so i hope you guys are doing well with your collecting have a good one be safe thanks for watching